Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me. Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now. After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of, let's have a War Games match at Survivor Series? and didn't even put me in the match. But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind! Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that World Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The Women's Ooh. World Champion is the real winner here. Oh, what a DDT! Wow! She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Never saw it coming. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Squaring off right by our announce table. German suplex. Toss back into the ring. Skull first. Oh my God! Wow, breathtaking. She's forced onto the defensive now. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. 
Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Look out! Exploder suplex. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. Fed's press takes him down. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Kick to the body. Uh, double arm DDT! And shoulders are down. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Face first. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. She flips it back on her. Knee drop. As the leg trap, Fisherman suplex. Into the pin attempt. Two! Bailey is still in there. No celebrations yet. Oh, solid form. Uh oh. She did her homework there. of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Oh, she counters right back on Bailey. Oh, a straight forearm. Oh, a reversal by Bailey. Bailey looking to end this. This might do it. But the Wolf plant. Is Bailey closing us out? Well, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Everyone here is in shock. And Bailey can barely believe it. Bailey had her dead to right. Thought she had the three, but it was a factor. Soaring. Big miss right there. Ooh, slam. With authority. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Up and down into the shin breaker. Into the dragon screw. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the up. She's got Looks like a rope break. There it is. Belly to belly. Shoulders down. Shoulders up before two. She is still in this fight. The role model has her shot lined up. Checking the back of the knee. Watch this. Spiked with the rose plant. Is it enough for Bailey? Two. What a kick out. She's not done yet. Escaping that pin must have taken almost everything she's got. Well worth it. Look how frustrated her opponent is. I can't imagine what Bailey is feeling right now after that kick out. Wow. Wiping that smoke look right off her face. Uh, double arm. in the drop zone. She can't take much more of this. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Counters that. Schoolboy line to put this one away. Three, no. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Takedown, skull first. She's gonna try it again. Oh man, into the neck breaker. Oh. Cannot finish Bailey. An incredible victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Johnson from behind with that crutch. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. 
Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Russian leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks... small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion, and everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez. Whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contender's match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show, when suddenly, out of nowhere, 
three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? Wow, what a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at war games. But these three women do not. Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. And we're getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal four-way. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match in three busloads of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Nonetheless, this is going to be a huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, Cap definitely has a target on her back due to her history with these three other superstars. I'm just wondering, after all these false starts, if Cap will ever make it to her title match with Bianca Belair. I think that's Shotzi's exact goal, Saxton. of counter. Ah, drop toe hold. Base first. Went into the corner now. Look at this. Going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Well, well scouted by Ripley. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Picture. Takedown. A well-timed dodge. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Oh, suplex. Uh-oh. We're gonna see it. Gets out of there in a hurry. Check to the back of the knee. Watch this. Head first. Here we go. Big form. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. Oh, no. There could be trouble lurking for her with this submission maneuver. She breaks the hold. And as his opposition, not looking overwhelmed by her there. Morgan put her whole heart behind that attack. Kick to the back. She probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. And that's gonna hurt. And look at front a back suplex. Uh oh. We're gonna see it. Power. Sit down. Power bomb. That was a power bomb with one message in mind: absolute destruction. She's 
still boasting around. She's in a fight for goodness sake. Basket. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Ooh, she's going for it. There's a shoulder up almost immediately. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. And to the sky. No, oh, that'll destroy your nose. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Real rip. Electric chair. Wait a minute. Counter. What a bat. Right in the kisser. Impressive defense stops Ripley. Knee to the midsection. Oh, kick in the back. Taken down to the canvas. She scurries out of there. A jumping complete shot. Face first. There won't be any coming back for Asuka now. Now we have Rhea Ripley. Trapping the wrist. Oh, what a knee. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. This deep into a fatal four-way match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting to them now, gentlemen. Shoulders down, roll up. No! She just won't stay down. Butterfly backbreaker. She's getting back up, but she might be down again soon. And Ripley felt every bit of that. Makes the and there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Oh, saw it coming. Oh, this rally this could pick up the win here. She gets the shoulder up. So, so close. That could have been it. Running clothesline. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Oh, man. Boom. She adjusts it and reverses it. And look at this. Right to the kidneys from behind. Back elbow completely cuts them off. Around and around we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Diving splash in the corner. Dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Ooh. Not safe yet. Nick. Ah, look at this. Well, that'll do some serious shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Kick out just before two. She just will not give up, Cole. Oh, it's right to the side of the face. Cover here. Broken up, and the match continues. That's teamwork. Fez, press. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Ooh, and Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. Oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the ass table out there by the monitors. Bad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. And that was a heck of a heave we just saw.
Out of the turnbuckle into an overhead suplex. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Going down. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Rhea Ripley with the tie. No doubt Ripley just ended this. Ooh. Looking to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Punishing stretch. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock song. And this is got to be it. That could have been it right there. Now Rhea Ripley. Places her right in the corner. Lands an elbow. Tremendous pinning combination. And Asuka. Oh, what a crash. Reversal from Morgan. Boom, a forearm smash. She had it scouted. Forced the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. Like they're nothing. Our official just took a big hit. Oh, come on. Let's keep it clean in there. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. That's a few. Jumping complete shot. Liv ending this fight right there. The pin's broken up. I can't believe it. Point of the elbow finds the mark. But now Ripley. Double underhook carefully applied, muscling up their opponent. And a close line counter. Wrecking the shoulder. And that's another focused attack to her torso area. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. Tie. I think Ripley can end this. From behind. Right after the neck. Nicely done with the head scissors. He's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. There's the lift time. Well, that could be a hit this time. And the rope will force a break.
memorable fatal four-way. Here is our winner. This match was absolutely filled with surprises and dramatic moments from all four superstars. It was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match. Win or lose, we are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on. But only because there's no way I lose. Welcome a superstar who defines tenacious, brave, and driven. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England. The look of determination on Cap's face speaks volumes, Corey. This is a woman looking to climb all the way to the top of WWE. It's good to have goals, but we're just going to have to see if she has what it takes to make the climb. I have my doubts. Cap is here, and she's ready to fight. success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. and fearless, Shotzi is ready for a fight. We we'll call it an act of defiance or call it one of delusion, but Shotzi isn't backing down. From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, Shotzi has had it out for. Her. Now they finally meet again to settle their issues. This goes back even further to the independent scene. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Oh, that's disrespectful. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Hmm. 
And no count outs means she has the whole outside to play with. Holy, meet the barricade. Whipped into the barricade. Goes right through it. She's feeling the hurt here. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Good Lord, what a shot. Someone's got to get control of this thing. Then here come the punches. Shotzi is really falling behind. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. around. She's in a fight for goodness sake. What's she waiting for? She's looking more focused on gesturing rather than winning. Oh, right to my gut. Maybe they should think about taking the fight somewhere else. There you have Saxton. Thinking's not really on the menu right now. She now has gotten herself into a distressing spot. Yeah, this is a great flurry she's putting together. Quick exchange of counters there. Slipped out. Inverted DDT. Carefully measured knee drop. Ooh, look at her answering back. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. The follow-away slam. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Nicely done. Snap suplex. So quick. shot right to the dome. She's been dragged through the ringer tonight. This has just been an absolute massacre. Oh, a rear super kick. From behind, nasty. Oh, turn that kendo stick into a lawn dart. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. And this is as much a dare as it is a statement. Able to elude it. Just driven into the mat. Carefully measured knee drop. A oh, double knee face breaker. Yeah. Oh, what a four. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. Oh, Shotzi manages to counter. Oh, Selena Del Sol. Cover! Somehow breaks the count immediately. She is showing us something special here tonight. Stops the kick. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Just driven into the mat. This could be big. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh, nothing Shotzi can do now. Ah, uh, Cobra Clutch into a slam. She has her target weighed and measured. Cap has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. 
Spear out of nowhere from Bianca Belair. The women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait for a match. This could jump off right here. It's finally happening. The number one contender and the women's world champion will finally go one on one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it. 